Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you had a good day yesterday. <clears throat> good day for me. Um, kind of just did school and uh, went to work to pick up a couple things and a couple other places, but that was about it. But it was it was a pretty snowy day the day before, and yesterday was kind of a recovery day for the city, and today is actually worse. Um, it snowed again four or five inches, which isn't a lot, but on top of the foot and a half or so we got the night before, and now it's raining, so the rain's got nowhere to go, so, and neither do I, so I'm gonna stay home today, do my school and stay home, um, places are flooding, and I don't know if, where if any of you are from, if you've dealt with winter floods yet, but the thing with winter floods isn't so much the flooding, no big deal, when I say flooding, I don't mean like end of fucking taking out cities and villages and stuff. It's just, you get a couple feet of water on the roads, especially on our east side of the city because it's built on an old swamp ground. So it, it's kind of saturated anyway. And then when you get enough rain, even the summer floods. But uh, what the problem is in the wintertime is when it rains like this and cools off, you get a flash freeze and you've got Sometimes two feet, just solid ice on streets and yards and shit. And the city's got to go around and break it all down and clear it all out. It can take a few days, <clears throat> if not a week. So that's winter in the East Coast for you, for Canada anyway. Um, so anyway, just, just an update on the weather because some of you like that, some of you don't. Uh, what did I wear yesterday? I wore... <laughs> Azaro Pour Homme Elixir. Really like this stuff. Um, as you can see, I've worn it a little bit over the last few years. I wear it every now and then. I really like it. Let's get into how I wore it. Three sprays in my moisturizer. One, two, one, two. Shirt on. One, one, two. Perfect amount. Perfect amount. Uh, performance. Project's okay. It's not the, the a beast projector, but it's an arm's length out there for an hour, hour and a half. Then it kind of slowly comes in, takes a few hours to come in, and a little bubble, and then it's a skin scent. Um, about six hours going into the seven. Uh, you could realistically reapply after about five, though. Um, what's the smell I get from it? it it's a... Like I said, it's not too loud. It's, it's, it's a soft, sweet, spicy oriental kind of scent with the vanilla that i get from it um uh, on top of, a, of the original a base of the original azero fougere um it's kind of what i get from it <clears throat> um hear a lot of people online saying they get like a dr pepper vibe from it when it's first sprayed on well i get that i don't generally get the dr pepper vibe but i would classify it more as like a you took a sweet vanilla coke and put some spices in it some cinnamon definitely some pepper uh some citruses um yeah that's kind of what i get from it it's just, it's basically a vanilla coke with spiced rum without the rum so just the spiced, you know, <laughs> it's the best way I can describe it. Uh, it's sweet, it's powdery, um, off the top, and that lasts for a solid hour, hour and a half. Then that barbershop-esque type fougere from the original Azero starts to show its face a little more. And, <clears throat> and that kind of slowly takes over for the mid. Then it dries down into a, a nice kind of... Slightly sweet, leathery, woody, musky scent. Um, again, it, I don't know what they classify it as. I would classify it as almost an oriental fougere. Uh, I don't know the actual classification, but that's what I would classify it as. It's, it's like I said, it's got aspects of an oriental. The sweetness, the vanilla, the spices, um, the citruses, and aspects of the the, the fougere, the, 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 the powderiness, which I'm think it is more than just lavender usually it's lavender but this has got a bit of a more of a uh a talcum kind of smell so i'm assuming it's rose 
and or geranium and lavender mix. That kind of gives a talcum vibe. Um, could be completely wrong, but whatever. It's not about notes, but what I got. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, and then basically in conclusion, it's a fruity, sweet, and the fruity sweetness, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know the fruit they're using or the fruits. Uh, definitely citruses, probably a sweet orange of some sort is in there. Probably some bergamot to smooth that out. But um, it's almost cherry-like. Like, uh, again, maybe a cherry cola. You know, it's almost cherry-like with that vanilla. A cherry vanilla cola, I guess. I'm, I'm all over the place, I know, but it's hard to describe this one. So, yeah, I mean, in conclusion, it's like a cherry, a powdery cherry vanilla spicy cola kind of vibe for the first hour, hour and a half, and then it kind of, that fougere starts creeping up, and very nice scent. Uh, out of all the Azeros Pour Home line that I own, this is probably the most wearable one today. Like I said, it's got that sweetness that people are looking for. It's got some spice. It's got some class to it with that classic fougere base. Um, yeah, compliments I never got any, but like I said earlier, I really didn't go anywhere. I stayed home. I only went to work to get uh, some milk and bread. And uh, I, nobody complimented me on it. I asked like one of the girls that was working there, and she, she really liked it. She was really nice. Um, but uh, no compliments. But, I mean, that's not the fault of the clone. That's the fact that I put it on hours before I went anywhere, and the only place I went is one place. So uh, we'll definitely get you compliments. It's got me compliments in the past. Um it's definitely a nice scent that it's an attractive scent to everybody, man, woman. Like I said, who doesn't like a sweet cherry, vanilla, spicy kind of smell? Not too many people. Um, so it's an attractive scent. <clears throat> More than wearable today. Probably one of the best wearable fougeres that you can get today. And uh, definitely worth the money. I heard it's discontinued. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I'm going to say it is because... Just a year, year and a half ago, it was all over my shoppers. And for those of you in Canada, <clears throat> you know what I mean. It's at the shopper's $20 rack. It's like an end cap of a shelf with a bunch of clones and perfumes for $20. Um, it was there all the time. And the last few times I've been in, it's not there anymore. The last six months or so. So if you run across a bottle, I get it. Even if you don't really like fougeres. Um, because it's not just a fougere. It's, it's like I said, it's it's it's... More of a modern, very modern take on a fougere and an oriental. So if I ever run across it again, I'm grabbing a backup bottle, probably two or three, because I, I like it that much. So, all right, guys, that's it. I'll be back later with something. I don't know. Peace. Love. Be good to each other.